Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is potentially going to be the largest battle I have ever done. It was sent in by one of my naval architects and it called for an even larger fleet action than what you're currently seeing here. Commander, you're in control of the best Germany has to offer in the late 1940s. You're put in command of all three Deutschland-class heavy cruisers, three light cruisers and four destroyers. As you're passing through the North Sea off of Denmark, a thick, glowing fog rolls over your fleet. You're caught in this fog for what seems like ages, and on top of that, all of your compasses and equipment go crazy. The fog suddenly lifts and you spot smoke on the horizon. The radar man reports a huge amount of blips on the screen. But you think this may be a massive allied convoy, so you call general quarters. You get into visual range and you are shocked to see many old ships that you studied at the Naval Academy you realize you are seeing the British Grand Fleet on their way to the Battle of Jutland. That's what Tristan Hein wrote in his comment for this particular scenario. Now, he's one of the naval architects, which means that he got his scenario featured by supporting me on Patreon, and you can do so as well, link down below in the description. The battle initially called for having 28 enemy battleships, 9 enemy battle cruisers, 8 heavy cruisers, 26 light cruisers, and 78 enemy destroyers. That is a ludicrous number, and when I tried to put it in, the game went, nope, <laughs> not going to do it, not going to do it, not going to do it. I can only simulate 100 ships, which I think even that is quite optimistic. Um, something else that's quite optimistic is that he says I need to sink at least 60% of the enemy fleet in three hours, and I need to keep two heavy cruisers and one light cruiser alive. Yeah. Um... The enemy fleet has 82 ships. That's a lot to sink. I think torpedoes are going to be my friend. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of torpedoes. Um, I can only design the heavy cruisers. I cannot impact what the lights and the destroyers will have. Hopefully the light cruisers will also come with torpedo tubes. We'll just have to see. Too many ships may affect performance significantly. Yeah, you don't say. Now, heavy cruiser, um, I know that it was supposedly going to be the Deutschland class, but against this kind of threat level, absolutely not. This is going to be a, uh, well, a huge torpedo boat in effect, because anything less than that is going to be probably insufficient to deal with the enemy fleet. Because there will be a massive number of ships coming my way. One of the things that I might again struggle with is trying to get torpedoes not to all target the same ship. Although, to be fair, uh, even if I were target the same ship, there is most likely going to be another ship somewhere behind it. And another one behind that, and another one behind that. So even if um, some of my torpedoes are surplus, they'll very likely hit something else. Now let's go with a couple of 9-inch guns. Uh, they're not likely to do that much against battleships, but that is exactly what I have all the torpedoes for. Or rather, will have the torpedoes for. 21 inch um, oxygen, no, electric runners. That will make sure that they don't all get detected in one large wave. I'm going to go with alternating twos and threes, so that we're basically throwing out torpedoes the entire time. Once the twos are reloaded, the threes are reloaded uh, 150 seconds later. So every now and then we'll have a sort of intersect between the twos and the threes. But more often than not, we will be throwing out torpedoes against all sorts of targets. Displacement, still good. Um, I can probably put some secondary 5-inch guns. No, 4-inch guns. It's a heavy cruiser. Not even? Threes? Oof. I was really hoping to put fives on there, but you can only do that with the battleship hulls. The cruiser hulls don't really like that. Now these things pack a severe punch, 5.5k. If I want to, I maybe can go for 24 inch, which means they pack double that firepower. Um, and I still have the displacement to spare, so why not? We have a bit of an aft weight offset going. And 
considering how many torpedoes I have on here, I don't think I can easily fix that. Well, this would do it. This would do it. And then I can put maybe some smaller guns on here. Or maybe there are potential slots for 2-inch guns. Yeah, one there. There and here. And I think that just about covers all the torpedoes and secondary weapon systems that I want on this ship. Let's go with a bit of barbette armor. Um... What else do we need? What's my engine efficiency? 81. I can accept that. Bit of a better propeller shaft. And considering the range that we're at, it's going to be belt armor. But also an increased complement of shells. And we're going to make those heavy shells. Let's make sure that the belt extended is not more than the standard belt, alright? 7 inch belt. 7 inch belt extended. Eight and a half inch on the turret. We can actually put quite a lot of armor on this ship. Eight inch plus 110% is effectively 16 inch. And we're not done. Nine inch. How many shells do we pack? 526 per gun. All right, how many torps? Eight per launcher, so that's four salvos per, per launcher. Okay, so we pack a lot of torpedoes. I just hope it's going to be enough. 9-inch turret armor, 9-inch conning tower armor, 9-inch belt extended, and 9-inch belt main. Leaving a bit for the secondaries, which we'll have at 6-inch. And that puts me 1 ton below the maximum displacement. I have a slight 4 weight offset, so let's shift that turret slightly back. There we go, 0.1. All right, Friedrich Karl. I don't really fancy your chances of survival, but we're going to have to make the best of it and try and torp as many ships as possible. Here we go. Three heavies, three lights, and four destroyers against the, in, well, pretty much the entirety of the British fleet. Don't, don't, don't torp yet. Wait one. We have the V4, which comes with one, no, two sets of torpedo tubes. Very good. And these carry an increased complement of ammo, but not torpedoes. All right. Light cruiser, no torpedoes. Oh, dear few bulkheads. Lovely. Bulkheads on these? Minimum. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wait, what? We have a huge British fleet here, but there's also an another portion off this side. That seems to be a... a portion of that massive amount of destroyers that they have. They're at an 8 kilometer range, which for their era, 1916, means that they're not in range yet. But it probably won't take them that long. Okay. The light cruisers need to get out of the way first. Or at least this one does. Oh, the light cruisers are everywhere again. Detach, guys. Nymph, art starboard. Frankfurt, hard to starboard. Um, I want you to follow the heavy cruisers. And now I want the destroyers to also start taking action. They have range, I think. Ah, not by much. Not by much. Hold. How many DDs do I have and how are they form uh, formated? <laughs> what formation do they have? They are all in one formation. That's pretty convenient. Now, there was nothing said in the scenario about the amount of DDs that need to survive. So let's try and get these guys to use those torpedoes quickly. The frame rate in this battle will be pretty dreadful. That, unfortunately, is a fact given the amount of ships that there are. 
Um, let's see, what did they generate? These are potentially heavy cruisers. This might very well be a battleship. And they also had battle cruisers, but I don't exactly know which one those are. This is either the battleship or the the battle cruiser. Right. My PC is going to have a really hot battle. Because <laughs> this is mostly, I think, processed by the CPU. Which means that the CPU is going to have a really bad time. Now, I did put these things up with a hydrophone station, Sonar 1. So they will spot some of the torps coming. Uh, just not all of them. And I really hope that the Friedrich Karl, as she's being focused down, can survive against this onslaught of incoming shells. Now, before you guys all go ham and think, oh, this is fun, I should send in another 100 ship scenario too. Uh, this is very much an exception. This is not something I'm going to be doing weekly, because I don't think it makes for a very interesting battle. I mean, this whole thing here is just one AI traffic jam waiting to happen. They're going to do all sorts of stupid shit. And I don't think that that makes for a particularly interesting fight. One warship's coming in in a hurry. We've already done some damage, but the Friedrich is also taking some damage in return. I'm trying to rush the destroyers in. And we're going to send torpedoes in, well, pretty much every which way I can. Let's turn to starboard. V's 4, 3, 2, and 1 are moving in. Uh, Frankfurt, Nymph, and Augsburg. You guys can div up. Uh, you are formation... Which one? You're div 4. Okay, div 3. Join div 4. Div... 4, join div 3 again. No, 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 no. Alright, that puts all the light cruisers back in one formation. And now I want you guys to start following f the heavy cruisers. It's probably going to be in range anyway, this group. So I don't really have to do too much. Alright, torpedoes. We can hit um, everything here. That's going to be your target. Torpedo when ready. I'm going to detach V3. V2 to starboard, V1 to starboard. Yeah, works for me. Good lord. There's a lot of fire incoming. We have the uh, destroyer Sturgeon and the V4 fighting it out. Ooh, ammo detonation on Sturgeon. Just torpedo, please. Because these torpedoes can do quite a bit of damage, but the ship cannot take any in return. So I really need to torp and immediately disengage. Uh, that one. Torpedoes, V3, away. Turn back. V2. Hold off on the torpedoes. You're not quite in range yet. I would like you to be more on par with the line of the V4. And same goes for V1. We need to close in a bit more. Now the heavy cruisers arguably have a larger torpedo range. A greater range. So you're going to torp that one. Turingia. You're going to torp that one. And then Prince Eugen. You're going to torp that one. But they're not in range yet. That's the problem. Secondaries on the Mameluk. Mameluk has been torpedoing a heavy cruiser, so I guess we're going to have to turn away for a bit. How are you doing? V3s are alright. Okay. V2. It's basically uh, explosive fishing at this point. 
It doesn't really matter where I send torps. I'll hit something regardless. Look at the enormity of the British fleet here. I'm going to torp these guys because we still have a battle... Potentially battleship and battle cruiser colliding. Makes for a very tempting target. And V1 is also going to have to push in. I have taken 158 damage, dished out 1400. We have torpedoes outbound from the Eugen. Possibly Thuringia too. Friedrich Karl still has a complement of 170 plus torpedoes. Nice. Now, considering that these British ships might not even have hydrophones... Yeah, they do. They have Hydro 2. So they'll spot some torps. But they really won't get that much warning. That's going to be your target, V2. Right there. Incoming torpedo. None of the ships should be affected by that. What I'm more interested in is where is the incoming torpedo from the Mameluke that was sent towards one of my heavy cruisers. Who sent it? And where did they send it to? Well, rather, I know who sent it. It's just... Who was the target? Flooding on the Mameluke. Their DDs have maximum bulkheads. Which means that they are not going to die as easily as mine. So far, we've not hit anything with a torpedo, surprisingly. But both of these have potential. We have the Queen Mary with minimum bulkheads. That's the battle cruiser class. And the Nelson comes with a standard complement of bulkheads. Uh, that does not bode too well for the longevity of the battle cruisers, anyway. It remains to be seen how well the battleships can perform when getting hit with a torpedo. Here is a torp. Seems like the fleet's fine. These torpedoes might sink the black water. That'd be great. But I'm much, much more interested in taking down some of the larger warships here. Looks like Lord Nelson did take a torpedo. We've already landed three torpedoes, in fact. Only one, I think, hit the Lord Nelson. No, two of them hit the Lord Nelson. And here we have disaster striking another Nelson. And another battleship takes a 20... No, no that's not a 24-inch torp. The Arrogant takes a hit, immediately starts flooding. Maximum bulkheads might protect her. Queen Mary, not very <laughs> survivable, this battle cruiser. Uh, did you torp yet, V2? Yeah, you did. Okay, well done. Turn out. If you want, turn in. And let me set out your target when you get into range, because I want to see how the situation is developed by then. That's the first battle cruiser dead. Plenty more to go. Plenty more to go. Are these torpedoes still cruising through the formation? Yes, they are. We still have a small subset there. And one or more actually going through here. Looks like one of the ships just managed to vanish into a smokescreen. King Edward. Oh, it managed to vanish, but not so much that it was able to evade the torpedo. V1, you're up next. A couple of battle cruisers and battleships together. I see opportunities on the horizon. Torpedo that battle cruiser. Now the real torpedo boats are the heavy cruisers. And I know that sounds weird, but I hope you get my drift. 
the battle, sorry, the heavy cruisers carry a lot more torpedoes than the rest of the fleet. I just need to find a good way not to get hit by all the destroyers here. Because they will continue to try, but they fortunately only have one torpedo tube. So it's not like they can put out massive volleys of torpedoes that I will not be able to dodge. Now what's even more so is that I need to sink 60% of the fleet in three hours. That is quite an ask. Considering that I have a few light cruisers and a bunch of destroyers and just three heavy cruisers. Against 15 battleships. Or however many it was. V1. Turps away. Smoke it up. And turning out. Now this time around, I will have these guys try and uh, stay in a decent formation. So you can join div 5. And div 5 can... Oh, you took a hit. Uh, that is v4 and v3. You guys can join together. Looks like I'm torping another bunch of ships. You guys can join together, and now I want you to follow the light cruisers. So that I don't accidentally send all of my ships out of the battle again. I'm not even sure what I have been torping. Incomparable. Took a, a few torps, I guess. Yeah, she took two. Which, in case of the battle cruiser, might be enough to sink her. The DD Oxford looks to be in trouble too. Unless she can make a very quick turn. Which I kind of doubt. Oh, right underneath her rudder. She's safe. There are some more torpedoes cruising towards the very damaged uh, incomparable. And hopefully she won't absorb too many of them. Because I still need to get those torpedoes to land deeper into the formation. The range on these torps is 4.8. So they're pretty much on the edge of their operational range. Right. My torpedo range is 13.2. Let's send out some torps towards that direction. Turinja. Um, trying to torpedo the Caroline. The Tristam sinks due to heavy flooding. I think the light cruisers might have something to do with that. We need to get rid of some more of these battleships. So those 13-inch guns can do some serious damage against my battle... Or sorry, against my heavy cruisers. Or can they? What's the pen? At 12.8. That's 17 and a half inches of armor. I have more. At least I thought I did. But not that much more. There's a 50-50 chance that they can pen me. But I think the real question is, can you even hit me? And the answer to that might be a pretty hefty no. They probably can't. Okay, a large bouquet flies out from one of the heavy cruisers. Mameluke is almost sunk. Why are the light cruisers attacking that particular target? Finish off Mameluke if you can. Would be a good target for the lights. No, 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 no. I still want you to follow the heavies. Because I'm having enough trouble as it is trying to record the video, trying to manage the battle and stick to the formations. All at the same time. Oh, shit. You guys are having a bad time. Smoke up. My 4-inch guns are of a far, far newer model than the ones on the Matchless. So hopefully those guns can do something against that destroyer. Like, sink it. V1 detected an enemy torpedo. There. Um... I'm not feeling very, very optimistic about that particular torp. Oh, crap, the whole formation collapsed again. I need to select separate ships. Otherwise, it all falls to shambles. It all falls apart. 
Okay, you'll be fine. I need to select a separate ship from the formation. V4. Join V3. Div 5 to join Div 3. The Mameluke still surviving everything. Impressive ship. Looks like we hit another ship over there, potentially just with a 4 inch gun. Or a 3 inch? Yeah, the DD hit the other DD for 670 damage. Good work. Um, not sure if these torpedoes are gonna hit it, so let's. Oh, actually, there are plenty more battleships on the horizon. Turingia, target majestic, matchless sinks, very good, torpedoes away from Turingia, Prince Eugen, torpedo the Lord Nelson if you can, and I know you can because you generally have a lot of torpedo tubes around, look at that, I hope that that's going to just fan out a bit, because we still need to sink a bunch more. Now, this is the best that the German fleet has to offer, at least so I have been told. Um, the damage output is good. We have done 15,000 damage and only taken 225. So it's not like we're struggling to output damage. It's more so that there just are, well, ranging from a lot to too many ships. What's my chance to pen that ship? 23%. Not... Great. I think we need to get a little closer. Friedrich Karl, engage that ship. With torpedoes, if you have them. Torpedoes out, more torpedoes out. These things are not quick. We're going to have to wait quite a while before they get there. 37 knots only. Fortunately, the rangefinders on these ships are terrible. They don't have a good chance to hit me. Another salvo out from Friedrich Karl. Next torpedo target, Valiant. In case the triples get reloaded. What's the situation here? Just a metric ton of destroyers. Oh shit. Torpedo if you can. Blackwater is getting very close. Looks like this... Destroyer is out for blood. Light cruisers, focus the Norsemen. The heavy cruisers have probably been under fire for a while. Yeah, almost a thousand shots fired at it, but no serious damage yet. Keep that up. The Norsemen probably got a bit, bit scared as that torpedo wave just crashed right next to it. Blackwater's down. Target the Norseman. Let's see if we can get rid of the Majestic. Although she is turning very quickly. Majestic now detected the enemy torpedoes. Well, it could have fooled me because she seemed to be aware of them quite a bit sooner than that. I'm really hoping V2 can survive, but I'm not expecting it. She's still sort of flooding and then immediately hosing it back out. Div 5 to join Div 4. The entirety of Div 4 fall back. Damage output 17k. We're currently targeting still the Norsemen. Wow. Tough little ship. Friedrich Karl, ready to torp. Centurion will probably get hit once or twice. Majestic is fine. Orion, Valiant, Lord Warden, and Royal Oak are all back there. That's a lot of ships that we need to sink. 43% chance to pen the battlecruiser. And in reverse? 40? 
50. Okay. Pretty good chance for them to do damage to me. Centurion sinks due to structural damage. AKA, you got wiped out. One torpedo hits, a second, and a third. That's the end of that battleship. Still some torpedoes running long, but there's nothing out in the distance. I mean, sure enough, there is a battleship, or a battle cruiser, but it's not likely to get hit. We've inflicted some flooding on the Majestic. Probably not enough. Target Bellerophon. Thuringia, target Majestic. Friedrich Karl, target Orion. I need the entirety of the div to go aggressive on the torps. There we go. Because we have all these torpedoes, but they have all these battleships. The more I can put down the faster, the better I'll feel about it. How's the fight going here? Because we still have one destroyer, the Westcut. V1, turn around. You need to escort your V2, buddy. Because I'm not sure if she can survive on her own. Looks like we're culling some of the British. But damn, this is a large fleet. Majestic took another flooding hit. These things have standard bulkheads. They don't care that much. I hope to wipe out three battleships almost at the same time. With the torps here, here, and here. And if they run long, then these battle cruisers are at risk. Now, normally I would start to slowly push in. But considering the huge amount of ships that are still together here, especially battleships just joined into the formation, I'm not feeling too optimistic just yet. Not yet. Can you guys party it out with the DDs here safely, or do you need my guidance? Chance to hit? Not good. 4%. But it's better than that 2%. Go to times 2. Light cruiser hitting a light cruiser. The foresight. These guys have maximum bulkheads. Whoa, how did you manage to evade all those torps? These torps could still pose a threat to the Majestic. And that second wave probably will hit Bellerophon and maybe even Undaunted. But it looks like the Orion and the Valiant are very much in the clear. Uh, Prince Eugen, target that one. Turinja, target Valiant. I know that the double launcher is already reloaded. So that's what we're going for. Full port turn. Yep, torpedoes out. Torpedoes here. Should, should strike Majestic. If she's not too slow for them. Oh, come on. Yeah, one good hit. And over here, it looks like we will get a hit on the Undaunted. And considering the 24-inch, that should finish her. That's one ship down. But the real target, the Bellerophon, survives. She might have been Undaunted, but uh, she's not going to come out of that one alive. Did the V1 get torped or something? No. Well, yeah, but a while ago. Let's just have the AI handle this group. Those DDs are almost toast anyway. Folks, fire on Valiant. A couple of torpedoes coming out from Turingia. Prince Eugen also sent out a gift package. There we go. That will take care of the Valiant. Yep. That'll definitely do it. And probably also her sister ship, Orion. Because we have something that resembles a cross torp. The Valiant is going out in fashion. Popping most of her turrets. Orion manages to turn away. Causing the rest of the torpedoes to utterly miss their targets. Crap. Light cruisers, we're going hunting. 
There are light cruisers and DDs that need to do that need to do that need to go and die. How are you guys doing? Under AI command. Great, we're now torping destroyers. Oh well. And Div 3 over here is still with the light cruisers. Let's have you guys break off and see if you can deliver another torpedo salvo right into the middle of the heart of the formation. So seeing if we can hit maybe the Lord Nelson again. And uh, we still got Colossus, Monarch and King Edward VI out there. Orion is definitely heavily damaged, but she's alive. <laughs> V1's engine repaired, damaged, and repaired, damaged, repaired. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Augsburg. Target foresight with the entirety of your division. That is the Augsburg, the Nymph, and the Frankfurt. We have to get this ship under control. They do come with torpedoes. So let's throw those aims off. And where is my destroyer group now? Here. Torpedo range now towards the Indomitable and the Dreadnought. Damage done, 48,000. Damage taken, 1,000. Orion. Come on, Orion. Orion should be under control, considering all of those torps. Cease fire. Uh, port turn. Turn harder. I don't think those torpedoes are going to run long enough to hit the Lord Warden back there. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Alright. Destroyers. V3. I need you to engage the Dreadnought. V4. Your target will be... Oh, they're not in range. Will be the Venerable. Light cruisers are definitely attracting some fire as they are pushing in. Unfortunately, it seems like they're not damaging the foresight that much. Did I take a torpedo or... No, never mind. I thought I heard a torp impact. The Orion? No way. The Orion is dodging everything. Well, not everything. <laughs> I stand corrected. Not quite everything. Interestingly, V1 and V2 under DD or under AI control are still alive. I just think that they're taking a while to get rid of the other destroyers here. The uh, Achates, Achates, and the Westcott. Light cruisers are unfortunately not just taking heavy fire, but also starting to run out of ammunition. That's potentially more problematic. Uh, fold that open. Friedrich Karl, I have a target for you. Venerable. Turingia. Target Bellerophon. Prince Eugen. Target uh, whatever's out there. Entire div. Torp when ready. Damage done. 55,000. Augsburg needs to fall back a bit. V2 detected torpedoes. Yeah, you're in a knife fight formation, buddy. You're knife fighting another destroyer. There are bound to be torpedoes everywhere. Let's see how well the AI handles that. Because I think that torp came out of the, the west cut, but... Didn't it? Was it the Achates? Maybe. V2 also detected... There it is. Yeah, so that came out of the Achates. Whatever, I'll let those guys handle that. We have bigger fish to torp. All 
Are the light cruisers holding up? Mm, not great. <laughs> They're not really having a fun time. The DDs over here, three and four. They sent out their torps. Uh, let's put them in a small holding pattern so that they can torp again when ready. Where are their torps, though? What was I targeting? Battleships. Torpedo hit another destroyer. The water hen. Flash fire on water hen. Two flash fires, in fact. V2 sinks to heavy flooding. Okay. That was a bit unexpected. But considering how much there was going on here, I suppose I should have seen that coming. She probably got torped. Still, these DDs, I don't really find that interesting. Let's switch back to the real damage dealers. Because the Friedrich Karl has done 17,000, Turinja 11, and Prince Eugen 10. And we still have a decent complement of torpedoes, although I will have to start paying attention a bit more to what I'm torping with who. Who torps what. Flooding on Bellerophon. Light cruisers have all taken damage, but they're all still firing. I thought I had torpedoes in the water. Like mine heading towards them, not the other way around. Although there is a likelihood that there will be stuff coming from them to me as well. Are you getting hit when 9 inch fire? Yeah, 9 inch shell fire is seriously damaging the uh, Belletophon. Speaking of seriously damaging, Frankfurt, 13 inch guns, really pulling a number on this light cruiser. Couple of sailors desperately trying to fight off the incoming water. I hope they can still do something. We have a destroyer in range. Oh, we have two destroyers in range, in fact. Destroyers Morris and Christopher, which are just the first line, because the Gurkha, the Lasso, and the Westminster are just behind them. Friedrich Karl, torpedo target, zealous. Turinja, torpedo target, repulse. Prince Eugen, uh, I don't know, torpedo target, medway. Entirety of the fleet, torpedo and ready. Maybe I should set them to aggressive, otherwise they might not launch. Turinja. Okay, Turinja hasn't torped yet. Oh, she's still loading. Gotcha. The battle cruisers are doing their usual standoff action, which in their case is probably the right choice. They were, what, standard bulkheads? Minimum. Yeah, definitely the right choice. They don't want to be anywhere near this fight. The DDs that I had in a holding pattern are now going to be required. Smoke up. Torpedo out. And V4. Uh, your target... Uh, the King Edward. Is it selected? I can barely tell. Yeah, it's selected. Torpedo away from V3. They're now starting to flood. Turn out. You guys have done a fairly good job. Dueling damage. 5.5k for the V4. V3 at 4.8. Torpedoes away from V4 and V3. It looks like Bellerophon might have been turning too much. Crap. Crap. Wake has detected the enemy torpedoes. Yeah, but you're not really the target. So I don't think you have too much to fear. Light cruisers once again focus down the destroyers. 
Because as much firepower as the heavy cruisers have, I'm not sure if they can do it. Where are the torpedo salvos at? Because then I know what other targets to select next. It's like lemmings, just when you think you have one sunk. A whole, or actually, not, not really lemmings, it's more like whack-a-mole. Just the battleship variant of it. You think you have one British ship sunk. And suddenly on the horizon you spot a whole bunch more. Let's start launching with a bit more caution. Torpedo target is Dreadnought. Although they might not launch considering that they're not too confirmed on the chance to hit. We have a torpedo hit on the Drake. Oh, that was one of the destroyers that managed to do that. Good work. Uh, new target is Zealous. Turingia also torped. And Prince Eugen torped. Prince Eugen is down to nine torpedo to or nine torpedoes for the dual torps. Thirty-seven for the triples, forty-nine for the triples, and forty-six. Battle cruisers ranging 13 1. Torpedo tubes off. Entire fleet targets the battle cruisers. I'm not sure if I can hit them. Can I pen? Mm, not really. Fine, we're going to target heavy cruisers instead then. Incoming torpedoes from what might be the light cruiser Proserpine. It looks like the Proserpine is going to have some trouble of her own. Light cruisers, are you working over the destroyers at all? Because I'm not seeing kills here. Interestingly. Yeah, she's toast. Those weren't meant for you, but I don't mind you taking a few. They're actually meant for the dreadnought. Oh, shit. Those torpedoes arrived a lot sooner than I expected. No, it's not the same salvo. It's a different salvo. Shit. Fold open. Friedrich Karl. Disengage. Detach. Turn harder. Uh, Turingia might uh, might not survive. She might sink. Yeah, she's not doing well. Torpedo. Extreme prejudice. Prince Eugen. We're about to run out of torpedoes at this point. Especially considering the large salvos that I deliver. The Indomitable has been hit three times. She'll flood. No chance that she'll survive that. Flash fire on King Alfred. Indomitable sinks. Heavy flooding. That was faster than I had even expected. Carl. Okay, you're good. You survived. Hard to starboard. We need to turn into their fleet. Prince Eugen, status. Torpedo launchers are ready. Don't launch yet. There are a bunch of heavy cruisers in the way, but I don't know what my chances are to hit those with torps. Because they're probably pretty maneuverable. Check. Yeah, 422 turning circle. Hmm. Turingia is still limping along. Three damaged engines, but flooding is under control. Torpedo landed on the destroyer. Wait, did it? No, sorry, it was a 7-inch hit. That was a torp hit. Prince Eugen. Um, target the Zealous. Prince Eugen starting to flood. The ships have dished it out significantly, but they're also starting to take more and more and more damage. Now, the command was for several heavy cruisers to survive, but that won't happen. That uh, just won't happen. Keep two heavy cruisers and one light cruiser alive. Yeah, about that. The light cruisers are almost out of main firepower. Except for the Frankfurt. Nymph only has 12 shells left. Augsburg, 76. That is it. For the light cruisers. 
And then we're down to 3-inch guns, so let's just push in. King Alfred, detected torpedoes. Those are not even meant for you. Let's see if the foresight has indeed enough foresight to evade those torps. I rather hope not. Uh, Turinja, target majestic, aggressive. Torpedoes away. She still has nine on this, uh, the, the double torps. Friedrich Karl has dealt the most damage by far. 14k for Eugen. 11k for Turinja. But this ship single-handedly has dealt 28k. That is a severe... Uh, severe... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, contribution. Uh-oh. Somebody didn't have enough foresight. Yep. That's what I always like about fortune tellers. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, how are my destroyers doing? The four and the three. Good lord, you guys are close. I didn't know it was quite this bad. Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> The V4 was probably waiting for that. Oh, can I, can I, can I, please? Nope. And then it went, yes, you can. And now the V3 is going to go and sink. Yeah, I deserve that. For not paying attention to the ships. Friedrich Karl, we still have a decent amount of torpedoes ready. Just need a target. Looks like slowly but steadily the amount of heavy cruisers and uh, mostly battleships seem to be disappearing. Arrogant sinks due to structural damage. Something else has gone down to structural damage. And there are more ships which might not be able to avoid. Galatea. Ooh, Galatea's alright. But that one's not the Hyacinth. I'm not sure who sent that. Not the Friedrich. That was the Prince Eugen. Contributing a very effective torpedo salvo. Alright, Carl. Hard starboard. Let's see who we can torp. There is still the Nelson out there. Let's see if I can just send a small salvo that way. Because she's already quite slow and heavily damaged. So I don't need to send all of it. Just a decent portion. Yeah, that will do. And now I did send everything. Fine. Port turn. We're going to dump whatever we have left in the water. And see if we can still sink a battle cruiser. The Zealous is looking like a decent target. Especially because she still has a pretty... <laughs> a pretty busy escort group around her. Damage done, 92k. Status on the light cruisers. They're now pushing in and trying to do damage with the 3-inch guns. This is a very dangerous part for the light cruisers, as these DDs are probably not too happy to see them, and they do come packing torpedoes. Let's see if we can sink the Lasso and the Leonidas. Gurkha 2. That's more of an afterthought. Whoa, Majestic is down, and so is Antrim. Good work. Really good work. Carl. Carl is out of her dual torpedo tubes. No further torpedoes can be launched. Turinja also just sent out a large salvo. Oh shit, how the fuck? Yeah, I have not been paying attention to this too much. As it was too focused on the Frankfurt. Oh, sorry, on the Friedrich Karl. Which means that the battle cruisers have been getting closer. And they're not terribly happy to see me. Meaning that the Prince Eugen is starting to take more damage. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire, cease shit. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Full star return. These things don't have torpedoes. You know what? Full port turn. I might be able to sink the Lord Warden, and with the other salvo, the Royal Oak. 
Friedrich Karl, down to 28 torpedoes. She's not really in a good spot to assist there. Light cruiser status. We have lost the Augsburg. Nymph is starting to flood. Lasso, Gurkha, and Leonidas are still alive. Damage done has blossomed to 106k. From the position of the Friedrich Karl, we can still see a salvo of torpedoes rushing out to meet the enemy. But I'm not exactly sure what I was targeting. Oh, the Nelson. Yeah, that's it, the Nelson. Alright, what's the status here? What's the Lord Warden up to? She might not have spotted the Torps yet. I rather hope that she hasn't. Prince Eugen also out of her dual torpedo tubes. We just need to get rid of these battle cruisers before they get rid of me. Because what these ships do not have is torpedoes, but what they do have is 9 inch guns. And still a decent complement of ammunition for that. So hopefully I can still make some more. Uh, well, let's say ruffle some more feathers with the British. At least the Lord Warden's feathers are going to be sufficiently ruffled in a moment or two. Now she's about to get hit by probably six torps. Ah, the light cruisers finally sink the lasso. Yeah, Lord Warden, I'm sorry, but this is going to be the end. She has no chance. Not a one. There it is. Not a chance. Immediately sinks due to structural damage. The ship took... What, 15,000 total? No. Well, we're still not done. That was 12,000... Or 10,000. <laughs> and that's another six and a half. <laughs> There's no kill like overkill. Beautiful. Uh, Prince Eugen, I need you to do me one last favor. Before you take too much damage, I need you to still engage the battle cruiser. How's the Thuringia? More or less functional. Less rather than more with three damaged engines. Oh crap, she's gonna fall behind the sinking Lord Warden. Damage done, 130,000. How are the light cruisers faring? Not terrible. Not terrible. Now at this point I'm not really keeping track of how many ships I've sunk. I just wanted to play this battle out to see how many I could sink. Oigan status? Yeah, she's behind them. Crap. Um, Alright, your new target is going to be Rodney then. The starboard torpedo launcher should be ready. Range to the Rodney is only 1.8. The Rodney is firing at her with 13 inch guns. But due to the angle, she's not capable of doing that much against the Prince Eugen. Prince Eugen returns fire with the torpedoes. That should sink her. King Edward the Seventh has detected the torpedoes. So we're still traveling deep into the enemy formation. A battleship's trying to evade, but she might still eat one. I don't think that that'll be enough to sink her. Or maybe two, even. One. Two. A third would have immediately canceled out the structural integrity. But it looks like that's not going to happen. Target the repulse. Port torpedo launchers. Pretty much whatever you have left at this point, because there, there's still a lot behind the repulse. So even if I don't hit her, I'll be able to hit everything else. Prince Eugen, status. Rodney is desperately trying to turn away. But there are a lot of fish in the sea. And Rodney takes 70% of her structural. 0.3 left. She... really... King Edward VII sinks. Nice work. That's another battleship done. Royal Oak is flooding. Point one. 
Spit, duct tape, and a stiff upper lip were holding that ship together, but no more. Rodney is done for. I have exactly one torpedo left on the Prince Eugen. Uh, Thuringia still has 25. And Friedrich Karl just sent out another salvo using her triples. 29,000 damage done. 34,000 damage done for Thuringia. And 46,000 damage done for the Prince Eugen. V3 is now done. Uh, I don't know if I can do damage with a 3-inch gun against a light cruiser, but I'm willing to try. 137,000 damage was done. It looks like the repulse might be too fast for those torps. You know what? Let's try and disengage. Let's do one more drive-by shooting with the Friedrich Karl against the... Oh, never mind. Not against the Royal Oak. We're going to fall back. Light cruisers too. You guys are going to fall back. Get out of here. Is that battle cruiser going to get hit or not? No, she's not. Ah, oh, crap. Galatea just sent out a torp. Considering the amount of torpedo damage that I've done, I'd say that's fair. Let's see if I can still get my ships out to safety. And so far as there is safety here. I kind of doubt it, but... Considering how much damage they have done, I feel like I owe it to them. That's a pretty large salvo. Turingia, probably. Yeah, Turingia sent out those torps. Okay. Um, I don't like these. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Okay, we'll be fine. Maintain fire on the light cruiser Galatea. While still trying to torp the Cornwall. Nymph and Frankfurt are trying to head away at best speed. Let's set a smoke screen. Get the hell out. The damn Galatea torpedoed me again. Full star return. I don't think that the Turingia nor the Prince Eugen have the speed to get out of trouble. They can only do 9 inch. Or 9 inch. 9 knots. With the Prince Eugen even less than that. Torpedoes hitting a battle cruiser. The Repulse. Maybe that was a torpedo salver from Turingia that I just managed to evade with Frankfurt. Oh, sorry, with the Friedrich. And it looks like the ship is taking serious flooding. This destroyer just made a serious <laughs> error in judgment. And she might very well flood. The target that I was hoping to flood is the Repulse. Medway is done. I have no more torpedoes on the Friedrich Karl. Guys, we are out of here. Sort of. Come on. Target repulse. Cornwall sink. Structural damage. Yeah, that might have to do something with the torpedoes. We're also going to torpedo Flora. Can we get Galatea too? Yes, all of them. The whole group is dead. Beautiful. That was the last package that the Friedrich Karl sent out. She just sunk three more ships. With torpedo, she has done 43,000 points of damage. The Thuringia has inflicted 36,000 points of damage with torps and uh, another 43,747 with the Prince Eugen. Light cruisers are heading away from the fight and with those heavy cruisers and light cruisers dead, she seems to be fine. The battle cruiser Repulse sinks, getting hit twice in the bow belt and stern belt and that caused her ammunition to go up. Two flash fires finished that ship off. Now, I'm going to end it here. Having said that the German fleet was able to do 168,000 damage. I kept all three of my heavy cruisers alive. And considering how much in a state of disarray the British fleet is, I'd say they're not likely to give chase. 
two of my three light cruisers survived and we really only paid for doing all that damage by losing four destroyers. I'd say that is a fantastic trade. I'd say that's a fantastic trade. Now, once again, let me reiterate, I am not planning at all <laughs> on doing these huge amounts of uh, ships very often in a battle. So don't send scenarios with uh, a ton of ships. I much prefer the relatively smaller fleet action. You can use the link down below in the description to become a Patreon supporter in the Naval Architect tier and have a far greater chance of getting your scenario featured. And if not, then you can always just use the standard link and uh, I'll potentially get around to your scenario eventually. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, proud of the oh, sorry, the pride of the German fleet doing a lot of damage and the British just taking it on the chin but losing a lot of ships in the process. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon for another video.